What is up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and on this channel I talk about cybersecurity. In this video, I'm going to be going over three platforms I get asked about a lot, which are RangeForce, TryHack Me, and Security Blue Team. Over the last year and over the course of my cybersecurity career, I've used these different platforms at different points in time for different reasons. So I've used them for labs, for training, certifications, or credentials, and different things like that. And I get a lot of questions about these platforms, like which one is best for me? Which one should I use to become a SOC analyst? Which one should I use if I want to learn about cybersecurity? Which one should I use if I want to learn about vulnerability management? Which one should I use if I want to learn about Splunk? Which one should I use if I want to learn about Sims? A lot of questions about these different platforms. So I decided, let me just simply do a video comparing these different platforms and just kind of giving you the different use cases, the cost, HR, HR credibility, job applicability and my opinions about this platform depend on wherever you are in your cybersecurity career. So I hope everyone who has asked about this platform finds value in this video and is able to understand how to properly use these platforms or decide which of these platforms is best for them at their current position in their cybersecurity career. With that said, let's dive right into the video. All right, so I'm going to start with RangeForce. So RangeForce um, has played a really, really great role in my cybersecurity career so far. I've learned a lot of things from RangeForce in my cybersecurity career so far. Um, a lot of things that I otherwise would not have learned from other platforms. Um, it's been really, really great, especially learning really, really applicable um, concepts that are going to be important for um, um, for your your day to day job or even in interview scenarios. So, I'm um, also the use case for RangeForce would be for anyone who wants to get real applicable skills they're going to be performing in your job especially the SOC 1 and SOC 2 paths the skills you learn from these paths and also the th third hunter paths i believe um the SOC 1 SOC 2 and third hunter paths these three paths have a lot of modules that and labs practical labs that are going to cover a lot of things that you're going to be doing in your day-to-day -day activities or you're going to be asked about in a cybersecurity interview right so i Previously did a video on um range force um on this channel so let's see I did a video on um the SOC analyst one in the community ed edition definitely check it out I also recently did a video about the cloud security beta um I reviewed it so definitely check that out as well but I must say range force is really really amazing when it comes to really teaching you the skills you need um and it's really great at that um SOC one path was really really great for me I learned a lot from the SOC one path I'm gonna be going over it um in depth as I already did a video about it so definitely check that out right here. Um, but the SOC 1 path really gives you the basic skills you need um, for, um, you know, entry-level security positions. Now, I can guarantee that, you know, after completing the SOC 1 path, you're going to get an entry-level security job or entry-level security operations job or SOC analyst job or cybersecurity analyst job. But I can confirm that you have certain pr preliminary, and preliminary and fundamental skills that will help you perform the skills of an entry level SOC analyst or cybersecurity analyst, right? This um this um this path, this SOC analyst one path definitely prepares you for that. So definitely recommend you checking that out. So that would be a good use case for it. Um SOC analyst two path, also the same thing. It's more a lot more intense. Um and also I still think it doesn't it doesn't necessarily um some of it definitely applies to SOC analyst two or tier two roles, but I still think these things are still kinda still around the some expectations for SOC analyst one, you know, roles for um, certain companies. But regardless, if you have the skills required in this path or the knowledge or the practical experience that you get from these labs, I can guarantee that you have, you know, some preliminary knowledge that is needed to perform some basic security operation jobs. Um but that is not to say that, you know, you can definitely get a job with this, but you definitely have the knowledge that you can use to kill it in the interview. And I can tell you, it has definitely helped me a lot in several interview situations. Um, and so in terms of cost, um, RangeForce is really, honestly, I I never had to pay for anything from RangeForce, truly. I got Suck on least one because uh, I did a review on it, so I didn't have to pay for it. Suck on least two and Threat Hunter, I believe. Yeah, I guess I'm going to two or three on track because I was supposed to do a review on them, which I haven't completed, but I'll still do a review on them when I'm done with them. And then the Microsoft Security Core and Cloud Security Beta, I got them through some challenges I completed on RangeForce. So I've never really had to pay for RangeForce. However, I know that if you're a student with a student email, you can definitely get a student discount where you pay $150 for a whole year. And you have access to the entire RangeForce suite. So beyond Suck Analyst 1, Suck Analyst 2, Microsoft Security Core, Threat Hunter, 
in cloud security you get access to everything richford has in their suite so you have access to the junior pen tester path um also as they release new modules you have access to that so if you're a student um or you have a student email definitely try that out trust me like it's not a waste i can t totally totally recommend this um because you gain the practical skills that you need to perform your job functions especially entry-level job functions or to build on the skills you already have um at your current job in terms of hr credibility um to the best of my knowledge it, um Richard doesn't have that much clout when it comes to hr compared to like you know your security plus or other sort of certifications um so i'll say in terms of hr credibility it's not really up there if you probably ask recruiters about you know if they know anything about rich force they probably would tell you no um but i mean like if you have your security plus and you have the knowledge you have from rage force um, you could you can definitely you know fare well of course it's also great to have it in your resume just put it like you know i did some modules from range force where i learned about dns s filtration where i learned about pass the hash where i learned about powershell login and different things like that um just to kind of show that you know you have knowledge of these things so um that's my take on it in terms of hr credibility in terms of job applicability i've already mentioned it it's truly truly applicable for the job you learn applicable skills that are required for the job um so my final opinions i think it's a really great platform if you are looking to learn certain specific skills um another thing i don't like about rage voice is sometimes there is just really no support for certain labs i get it i get it i get it i get it like you're supposed to figure things out yourself you're supposed to understand these things you know try to find out the information you know learn on your own that's you know that's one thing that's really encouraging security doing research trying to learn things on your own and stuff like that but honestly i think that it gets to a point where you keep trying to learn something and um you just have to reach out for help and if you reach out for help at least you can learn what you don't know but it's um a whole different scenario when you have a situation whereby you have to try to learn something from yourself and there's just no support for any time you don't have knowledge of something so i think i hope range force does better in that regard um a lot of times you know i just you know s suffer a lot and then eventually figure things out on my own but i wish they had a better support for figuring things out or you know helps with the labs and everything but i hope they uh, do better with that besides that i don't really have any problems with range force um so I, I i'll say in terms of applicability and all of that um those are my thoughts on range force all right so i hope that provided you enough information about range force now let's move on to try hack me try hack me who does not love try hack me we love try hack me in the cybersecurity community over the last couple of years in terms of cybersecurity training Triac me has risen above the ranks, risen above several, you know, different oppositions. I don't know if they had any oppositions. I'm just saying that because it sounds cool. But Triac me has risen, you know, um, from uh, trying to find a cool word, maybe from the from the ashes, right? Triac me has risen and has become one of the top cybersecurity training platforms in the world, really. Like it's the top cybersecurity training providers, lab providers, you know, that we, is known in the cybersecurity world. And you know, to the best of my knowledge, I know that. A couple of years ago, a couple of years ago, it was hard to find this kind of cybersecurity training, especially for the cost and for the convenience. Um, it was hard to find this kind of training, you know, a couple of years ago. Now, with platforms like TryHackMe, you are able to have access to this on demand, twenty four seven for free or for a very, 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 very cheap price, right? So, my opinion about Cyber uh, TryHackMe, I think it's a really, really great platform. Um, I think they have a lot of really valuable rooms and information. I think TryHackMe is really, really good if you're trying to learn specific things. So, or if you're just starting your cybersecurity career and you really want to start learning the different methodologies, I kind of like the fact that they kind of give you introductions. So, you have this you know learning path so for example like they have the pre-security path right the pre-security path kind of goes over things you should know before security right so introduction networking fundamentals which is really important for security um how the web works um you know understanding how um underlying the underlying world wide web works um to understand how an attacker could you know uh could uh, exploit vulnerabilities in in the world wide web right understanding linux is important to understand linux is one of the most um, important operating systems you could be using either you know as a tool or securing uh, Linux systems and Windows. Windows is pretty much the most popular operating system. So understanding how Windows works, you know, understanding the operating system, all of that, it's important. So to give you a primer for all of these things, these basics, this pre-security knowledge that you need to understand before getting into cybersecurity, I think that's really, really good. Like they give you these structured approaches. And you also have other, you know, um, other paths like 
uh, cyber defense, like the junior pen penetration test or path, complete beginner path. So if you're completely new, you learn all of these basic things, offensive security, pen test flaws, web fundamentals. Um, I'm also currently going through the cyber defense path on my other channel, Cyberos Academy. Um, let's see, I have the playlist right here. So I've done about seven videos on the cyber defense path. I'm slowly talking to it. Um, so definitely check out my other channel for, um, my other channel for walkthroughs on the different rooms and you know other cybersecurity fun stuff so um that is said about that but the great thing about try me is just learning um in a structured approach in a structured approach or learning um specific things so in terms of learning specific things you can practice specific skills right so if you're looking to learn about let's see let's see general um let's see there are different things so based on my experience it's suggesting these things for me i like to learn let's see learn okay let's go to learn um, let's go to search actually search all right so i could you know sh i could filter by maybe challenges or walkthroughs order by these different things actually let me go back to learn i think there are some modules here awesome so these different modules give you introductions to different skills so like um how the web works prop suite but met exploit mmap network security pen testing privilege escalation vulnerability, vulnerability research network exploitation cryptography um, Windows exploitation, shells and privilege escalation, security operations and monitoring, threat for threat of vulnerability management, basic computer exploitation, different, different, different modules that expose you to different areas of cybersecurity, right? So I think it's really good if you're looking to learn some specific things, um, some specific things um, that are going to be applicable in terms of getting to cybersecurity. Uh, so I think um, kind of going here, trying to get the basics down and also start, you know, trying to follow a path. You know, for example, I'm currently going through the cyber defense path because that's what applies to me the most. Um, it's going to be good for you. So kind of going through these paths and learning these different things or, you know, you can be all over the place. It doesn't matter. It's, it's okay if you don't really know what you want to do. You can, today you can do junior penetration tester. Tomorrow you can do cyber defense. Tomorrow, you, next tomorrow you can do web fundamentals. Next tomorrow, you can do Metasploit. You can, you know, it's great because you have access to all these things anytime you want. So explore, try to find what you really like, and then you can dive deeper into it. Now, in terms of HR credibility, um, I believe Strike Me has, be has been, you know, become uh, a lot more popular now, especially alongside Hack the Box. So a lot of times when you hear Triac Me, you hear Hack the Box. When you hear Hack the Box, you hear Triac Me. So I've actually been seeing Triac Me and Hack the Box in job descriptions. I literally have seen a couple of job descriptions that I've applied for, and interviewed for this year, you have covered Track Me and Hack the Box as requirements. Like if you have walkthroughs of rooms you've done Track Me or Hack the Box, it would be great, right? So it's great because you can do these labs, you can, you know, create walkthroughs or videos or blogs or whatever about these different labs and put them, you know, on your resume saying, hey, I did these uh, different rooms to track me. I learned these different skills and different things like that. I kind of show the employer what you know, your thought process of, um, with certain things. And, you know, you never really know where that could take you. So it's really, I think in terms of HR credibility, it's not really up there yet, but it's definitely coming up there. So I definitely recommend, you know, doing these labs and trying them out and, you know, putting them on your resume. If you have like a blog or YouTube where you document these things like my other channel, Cyborgs Academy. All right, so in terms of job applicability, I would say track me might not necessarily directly apply to your job uh, function. However, it's still great to understand these different tools because eventually in your job, you can understand the methodologies or the skills or the syntaxes or the functions that you can use to apply in your job. So I guess it, it's kind of 50-50 in terms of job applicability. It doesn't have, um, I get, at least so far that I've seen, it doesn't have specific um, use cases or specific scenarios that kind of apply to what you would see on the job it's except 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 recently recently I haven't seen new challenges especially in the blue team um, blue team challenges that kind of walk you through um, being an incident responder or like a malware analyst or uh, whatever it is um, so that's I, I think that's I think they're, they're getting better at that so in terms of job applicability there's definitely some use cases for that um, for example let's see and I did some videos recently so I did this um, our evil corp so this our evil corp kind of puts you in a scenario of a um, um, it's a responder so you're responding to um, a, um, a, a a you're using a, a, a fire eye red line to analyze a memory image that has been compromised with the Drydex malware so that's definitely applicable if you're you know in a real life situation where you are maybe a junior incident responder trying to use red line you know to analyze a memory image so it definitely has applicability in terms of like job applicability I also did another one recently I think the carnage room I haven't posted out yet uh, but that's also another one that kind of gives you puts you in a scenario and another great thing about um 
track me is because it's that they they really guide you. So they they walk you through, they hand guide you through everything, which is really great. I think it's it's a good stepping stone for every other difficult thing in the cybersecurity industry, right? If you're trying to learn the basic, if you're trying to get some hand holding, if you're trying to have direct instructions, you know, to teach you these things step by step, like you're a baby, like you've never known these things before, track me is a platform for you. That's my opinion about it. If you want to learn things step by step, you've never had any experience before, you want a guided approach to whatever you're learning, track me is the platform for you. I hope this information gives you everything you need to know about track me and make your decision about it. Now let's move on to security blue team. So security blue team is, um, you know, it's, they're new. I think they are, they have been in the scene for a couple of years now. I think maybe two or three years or I might be wrong. Uh, so don't quote me on that, but security blue team is honestly, in my opinion, the holy grail of security training and uh, of defensive security training and certifications. For me, I think they beat all the other platforms by far in terms of security, of defensive security. So when you're talking about incident response, digital forensic security operation, malware analysis, all of that defensive security or maybe purple, secu purple, purple security type stuff, different uh, security blue team knocks everybody else out of the water. And I think when they really get their cloud, they're going to be big because what they what they're doing over there it's really amazing um and uh, i i can't recommend it enough so let's let's dive into it so security blue team has different things they offer so let me open these blue team labs online um, i'm going to go into that in a second let me go back to the home page here um okay let me let me plus pause that uh yeah i misclicked all right let's close that okay all right there we go all right so let's get back into the video so now we're looking at security blue team right so i'm gonna go over security blue team from different perspectives from um they're a blue team junior analyst, they're a blue team level one, blue team level two, um, and they're blue team labs online. So those are the different things they currently offer. They all, they have a blue team level three, but it's still in, in the works. Um, so I can't really speak much of that. They also have a blue team level two, which is which doesn't have an, a certification yet, but it has been launched. So um, I'm going to go going over it to the best of my knowledge, and um, um, I hope that I do it justice. Um, as much as I support the organization. All right, so security blue team is they you know they simply train technical cyber defenders. That's a really simple purpose, and they truly truly do that, right? So who are we? So security blue team is passionate about cybersecurity training, and they want to ensure that students learn relevant and useful skills, which immediately, which can immediately be used in the real world. And keyword immediately be used in the in the, in the real world. So, um, quick story. I'm currently studying for the blue team level one certification. I've been studying for it for about uh, 50 days now because I'm tracking my progress like on a daily basis. Um, and it's a really great certification. I'm going to do a, an in-depth review of the certification once I completed it um, because it's it's amazing. And um, I think the world really needs to see more of it, especially um, in the United States. I don't think it has as much cloud as it needs to have in the United States. But um. Moving forward, let's go into what they have to offer. So I don't want to start with the blue team level one because I haven't taken the certification yet, even though I'm like 75% done with the training and I'm hoping to take certification by January of 2022. I'll start with the blue team junior analyst. Um, let's see, training. All right, so I'll start with the blue team junior analyst because I've done that so I can speak to that confidently. I've completed all of these different trainings for the blue team junior analyst. Now um, I actually have a playlist where I covered um, every single part of the blue team junior analyst and did a, a review of each of the um courses so definitely check that out i also have a I have it on my blog so let's go to cyberwalksacademy.com and let's go to resources and let's go to training and right here i have a an in-depth review of the blue team junior analyst course so definitely check it out i'll leave a link to all these things in the description so you can you know have a better um view of them because i'm not going to be going in depth into them but the blue team junior analyst was my first taste of blue security blue team and I, I i did it because i just wanted to try them out see what they're really about i love trying security training for the purpose of learning and also reviewing them to spread their awareness to my you know subscribers in my community so that you know you guys have access to as much security training as you want as you need and you can make the right decisions about what you want for your security training all right so um this course was a really really amazing course um and I learned a lot from the different sections. Um, they're challenge. They're they're introductory, but they they teach you what you need to know. But they're also really challenging. But at the same time, they also provide support in their Discord channel. 
All right, so that's a great thing. It's like I think that's the three, it's the the CIA, the the triad of security training. It should be challenging, but there should be support. That's the third thing. It should be okay for introductory training. It should be introductory, right? So they should guide you through it, but it should be challenging, and there should also always be support. So those are the three key things that makes training to be good. That makes security training to be good. It should guide you through what you need to know you should learn what you need to know you should have challenges to challenge you to see if you understand the material and then you should have support just in case you run into any troubles all right so um each of these courses covers different domains now digital forensics uh network analysis vulnerability management threat hunting and dark web operations and open source intelligence and these courses are really really great um i like the format you learn these different skills and different things like that i don't want to go deep into it because i already did a review of them um so definitely read the blog or watch the videos um if you don't want to read the blog um i go deep into that now um moving forward i want to talk about the blue team level one because i'm currently studying for this certification and boy it's 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 amazing it's like it's really amazing and i, I don't want to go too deep into it because i, I want to do a i want to sit down and do a full review and in-depth analysis of this certification i think I'm, I'm probably one of the only youtube channels on that that talks about blue team level one or security blue team ever because you, you barely ever, ever see any other youtube videos so you guys are welcome all right so um as you can see i'm enrolled in this course and it's amazing you learn a lot of things and i can say that if you finish this blue team level one um I can I'm, I'm confident that whoever has gone through this courses this training can be qualified or is qualified for an entry-level junior security analyst role entry-level cybersecurity analyst role I can say that with my chest because the training is in-depth you get all the knowledge you need all the challenges you need all of the um, skills you need and then you get a 24-hour incident response scenario where you're supposed to combine all this knowledge together and respond to an incident. So junior cybersecurity analyst, junior incident responder, I think this is the right certification um, if you're going to if you're looking down that path. All right, um, I can't really speak much on the blue team level two, but I've been you know looking at course chatter in the Discord, and to, to the best of my knowledge, I'm I'm sure it's as good or even way better than the blue team level one. I wish I could have bought it through, during the Black Friday sale, but man, I had to spend my money on a bunch of other training that I'm working on. So hopefully next year or I can get an employer to pay for it because it would be really great to get that training. But yeah, that's, you know, Blue Team Level 1. Once again, I'm, I'm really sorry that I can't really go into it in this in this video because I really want to take out, I want to do a whole video just specifying it, but I can tell you it's it, it knocks everything else uh, out of the park. So in terms of cost, the Blue Team Level 1 is actually £3.99, which I believe is about uh, four or $500. When I bought it, it was five hundred dollars. So, um, for that cost, I think it's really affordable. And I think, it, it, okay, it, it being affordable is subjective, right? But I think in terms of security training in the grand scheme of things, and for what you get, I think it's really affordable because you're getting, um, almost three hundred, um, um, uh, three hundred, three hundred lessons. You get a bunch of labs, right, that teach you all of these skills. You get support. If you know from if you have if you run into any troubles the discord is free there's also a student forum dedicated specifically for the blue team level one um in my experience i haven't really had my question answered so that's definitely you know something i, I wish they would look into but you have us you have a support forum of course you also have the discord just in case right and for all of this and you also have a, a, a entry level uh sorry you have a a, a 24 hour incident response exam I can't point to any other security exams apart from email security that goes that uh, that makes you go through real life response scenarios, real life um um uh, uh what's the word um practical practical I can't point to other any other exam that is has a practical security experience like security blue team the blue team level one or the blue team level three level two which is supposed to have so in terms of cost I think what you're getting from for it is really 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 affordable in terms of what you're getting for it it's like um in my opinion i think it's 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 way better than it's like it combines like security plus i won't say security plus it combines cyc plus and a little bit of security plus together right and it's like cyc plus plus security plus on steroids like on literal freaking steroids right but i digress i like i said i'm going to do a specific video just to dissect and analyze this particular certification now in terms of hr credibility to the best of my knowledge in the united states the blue team level one does not have 
that much clout. It has zero clout in the United States. And I've searched and searched. I've searched on LinkedIn, on Indeed, on ZipRecruiter, on Glassdoor. Um, nobody's talking about the level one in their certifications, in their in their job requirements in the United States. I think it has more clout in Euro in in Europe, um, in um, UK, all those European countries. But the United States, it has zero clout with HR and hiring managers. I know there. I know a lot of United States. You know, uh, there are a lot of people in the United States that are certified, but in terms of like job requirements zero clout my guys zero clout so i wish they they get more clout um they get more recognition and if they have more companies posting them a um, message requirements because if the company is new you know the 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 value of the training um that you know whoever they're looking to uh, employ has from this company then you know they would definitely make better hiring decisions and know that this particular candidate has gone through this training and has this knowledge and can definitely get into definitely do the job i require them to do all right, so like I said, this is going to have a separate video for it. I promise you guys, I'm gonna do the video once I pass six a.m. and it's gonna be it's gonna be bonkers. All right, so in terms of job applicability, I've said that over and over again. It's very applicable. You learn skills, applicable skills for what you're gonna be doing on the job. No BS, no BS at all. The skills you're learning, you're gonna be using them on the job. Pretty much it. My opinion, Boots Level One is the best in terms of security training. Um, the content is up to date. Um. Of course, they have they have, they have their own shortcomings here and there, but in, from what I've heard from other like training providers or other certifications I've taken or trainings I've taken, it knocks them out of the park. They're in a whole different level of their own, and I know they're gonna get that clout, you know, coming soon, um, especially in the United States. And um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. So that's all about Blue Team Level One. Um, so also talk about the Blue Team Labs Online. Uh, it's their lab. It's kind of like um, I think people were calling it the hack the box of um, uh, defensive security. So you are pretty much doing all defensive security stuff on here. So you're doing investigation and challenges relating to incident response, digital forensics, security operations, um, reverse engineering, threat hunting, all of that stuff. Um, I have been going. I've been doing some investigations from there. So if you look at my channel, I've done a couple of investigations from there. I will be doing more. So like this one, this one, this one, this one. We're all from security blue team. I got myself a, 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 I think a three month subscription. Uh, so I'll be doing more investigations, especially in preparation for my boosting level one. But great stuff they have on here. Um, the challenges are definitely challenging. I think they 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 actually say that it's uh, it's a place to practice your skills, right? So it's I think the the approach they have for this um boosting level one boosting labs online is for people who already have the skills to practice the skills and improve the skills, not necessarily to teach you. So that's not really the goal. But I think you can still it's still a great way to learn. You know, if you want to learn these skills. Um, and, um, absolutely amazing, I mean, amazing stuff. Um, in terms of like job applicability, definitely, definitely applicable. What you learn on here are actual real life scenarios. You go through analysis, analysis, like actual analysis that you would probably be going through if you're like a junior incident responder or security analyst. Um, uh, so definitely keep an eye out in, on my channel, on my, on my second channel, Cyborgs Academy for more walkthroughs, what I'll be doing uh, for these different, uh, uh, challenges and, uh, investigations that are retired because you can only do walkthroughs of retired challenges and investigations um so my opinion about it amazing bluetooth labs online bluetooth level one totally amazing so this is the end of this video um i hope i've given you a really really in-depth analysis of these different these three different platforms right so let me let me come back to say this i'm, I'm i i I've, I've i've said that one of these platforms is better than all of these however my opinion is subjective i would like you guys to look at these platforms very well and you know based of my analysis based of what you think or where you are what you want to learn the skills you want what you can afford i i recommend you checking out these different platforms try them out look at look at them rangeforce has a um rangeforce has um a security uh it has a what's it called a community edition i did a review of the community ed edition um it's free the community edition is totally free try it out see if you like it right and then try me also has this free you know it has free modules Try them out before you pay for anything, right? Try these different modules out. Um, very first, um, Blue Team Level One, um, Blue Team Lab, Blue Team, uh, Security Blue Team has um, these, you know, really affordable training. These are affordable introductory courses that are like twenty pounds a piece. So grab one. You don't have to buy everything. Grab one. Try it out and see if you like it, right? I already did reviews on them. So if you check out a review, like, oh, I want to try this one. I want to learn this one, right? Try it out. See if you like it. And then you can go ahead and spend more money on the rest of the stuff. I I, I think um, these are really great platforms. Um, there's not an, a lot of if um, a lot of.
platforms and training and certifications for um, uh, defensive security. And these um, organizations, these companies are doing really great. So please do your best to support them. Um, check them out. Um, you know, these are new. These are new. So I think it's 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 good to talk about them to to give them feedback or criticism so that they can become better. I I I I am by no means like you know trying to shut any 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 of them down in anything I've said. I've I've obviously said a lot of good things, but I think it's good to give these reviews so that they can you know make improvements because they've not been around so long. So anything that can help them become better for the entire cybersecurity community, so everyone can learn and become better, and you know we can ultimately make our security space more secure. I'm all for it. So that's the end of today's video. Um, this is really a really long video, but I hope you guys found value in this video. If you like this video, please be sure to smash the like button and be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you once again for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.